Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be replacing the control for the automatic door closer, soft closing door. So it's a very common problem. So what happens is when you push a door, it closes and then it pops back out. So it either does that or I've seen them where they make all kinds of noise and grinding noise or whatever like that. But it's annoying because you get used to the doors closing and then all of a sudden you get in and drive and it says door open in your dash. So any rate, this is what we're going to take care of today. So we're going to go through it step by step so you can figure it out. This is actually a 2014 FO2 750 Li, but pretty much all the BMW soft closing doors are going to be the same. So we're going to go, like I say, step by step from removing the panel to replacing it. First thing you got to do is unhook the battery. Always unhook your battery when you mess around with stuff like this. You don't want any accidents, setting off sensors or shorting anything. So always unhook the battery. So that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to get to it. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is there's a little pin, plastic pin, in front of the door handle. Or actually, it's behind the door handle, if you want to call it that. But if you look right up underneath of it, so we're like right underneath the door handle, right about, you know, two inches, three inches behind, there is a pin. So I take the a little sharp punch and just stick in there next to it and keep working it down when you get it down enough you can grab it with a pair of needle nose or something like that or you can get it out but that pin has to come out first now i've seen people push them in i tried that one time and it got like stuck and i couldn't get it out and i fought it forever trying to get the thing off but anyway you know you're welcome to try that if you like but i learned my lesson i just pull them out so yeah, so you stick your little punch in there, pry down on it, pry down on it, and get it come out. And then we'll move on. Okay, so there's a little pin so you can see it. It's just a little plastic pin. And a lot of times you can get your punch in there and grab hold of it and pull it out. Um, but yeah, so we get that out. Next thing we got to do is get yourself a plastic tool and pry, start prying from the back here. And you gotta be easy, it's really on there good. So start top, bottom, top, bottom, and work your way all the way forward. And when you do, you get it loose, you can move it and it will come out. And I'll show you what the piece looks like in just a second, but that's what we're doing next. Okay, so this is a piece off and you can see it's got like, uh, little things there so that'll be in a little hole so you got to kind of move it get it loose but once you pop all the clips off you'll be able to move it around and it'll come off so that being done the next thing we got to do is we have torques here so there's two torques on the back we need to remove them and then we need to take this center piece that will pop off. We, again, we use our plastic piece, our plastic tool, and we pop this off. Now, this vehicle does not have uh, sunshades. But if you have sunshades, it'll be here. But don't worry, that won't interfere with you taking the cover off. So, like I say, use your plastic tool, pop this piece off, take the tor torques out, and... Then what you got to do is you got to get down, and I usually start from the bottom, get your plastic tool behind there. And one thing, I've had older BMWs, and I know the doors, once you take them off, they get real sloppy. But BMW has done a good job with the newer ones, making them real tight. So it is very tight. So be careful, you don't want to break it. Get in there. If you can get one of them popped off, then I like to get my fingers behind there and use that to pull and just work your way around the bottom and get it all loose. So once you get it loose, then you can lift up on it to lift it out of the thing here. And you have to remember to take this off and it will come, the cover will come loose. So we're gonna get that loose and then we'll see what we got. 
Okay, so it's loose, but of course we got a ton of wires in here. So what you need to do, you come over here, this is your uh, door handle cable. So you can see it goes in that little slot there. So if you pull down on this, then it'll come, you can get it out of that slot and then you can just unhook it up at the top. It's pretty easy to do. And then you just have to go around and you got to find all the wires. You have speakers, lights, all kind of stuff. Wherever it's, you know, wedged in a door, I use one of these things to pop it out. And it helps a little bit to kind of remember where everything goes. But for the most part, BMW is, they only have one plug. So you can't plug in things at a different uh, place, the wrong place, in other words. So... You know, you have them down here for your seat, for everything. So we're gonna unplug everything and get everything loose. And then we'll see what else we gotta do. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta remove this cover. So what it's got, it's got these little things here. Now, you, if you notice, there's a notch on one side. So they're not unscrew their uh, clips. So you turn them just uh, till the slots are straight up and down and that's the way the clip is inside so it's like that it's locked in place like that it's open and they will come out now I'm sure they make a special tool to get in there and do that a socket is too thick walled it won't fit um, I don't have a special tool I usually just take a pair of needle nose and grab hold of it and turn it and that seems to work pretty good so the other thing is right here is where your sunshade motor goes. So this bottom, there's a uh, bolt in there if you have sunshades. If you don't have sunshades, there's not. But you don't have to take the sunshade motor out. That stays on the cover. Uh, but you do have to take the uh, bottom bolt out here. So you'll see it. It looks different than the other ones if you have sunshade. So at any rate, we're going to do that. And again, you have to, you know, unclip all your uh, wires from the cover to get it out of the way. And, you know, kind of take note of how it goes. Because like you end up, you know, it's hard to believe all those wires and cars today. But you've got all that stuff. You have all the lights, the speakers, everything else. Any rate, uh, so we're going to get that cover off and then we'll move on to the fun part. Okay, so we got that cover off. And you can see we got access to everything. So the next thing we got to do is get the soft closer part out of there. Now, I've seen where people try to rebuild them and stuff like that. I can't see messing with it. It's just too much trouble. But at any rate, what I actually have is I had a 2010 750 Li and it had about 130,000 miles on it to develop the issue they had in that year range with the uh, valve guide seal. So it started burning oil and blowing smoke and then it started with electrical problems. So I said, forget it, the car is not worth it. It's a shame with a car with 130,000 miles, but it is what it is. So at any rate, I picked up this one at Copart, uh, wrecked, and I took the body parts off of my 2010 and put it on this, which 2014 is same body style. So if you're interested in what it took, you know, subscribe, take a look. We got a you know video on that and we got videos on tons of other things with this everything from the air suspension the heater fan everything so subscribe and take a look at what we got at any rate what we got to do is first you got to take for your closer here you have two torques you need to take those out and you need to take the one out here and that will take your clo uh, close on uh, close yeah your door latch loose then we got three number 10s here that are actually holding the, the part that does a door closer. So we got to take all those loose and once we take those loose we can move it around and I'll show you what we have to do next. 
Okay, so that's the door closer out, and I am misinformed when I talk about taking these nuts off. They're not number 10. I use a 516 on a um, impact driver to take them loose, so I know they're metric, but a 516 will fit right on there. And we get the whole thing out. Now, there's one plug in your uh, closer here. This is the part that's actually doing the closing. And your door latch up here, you got to kind of be a puzzle maker to get to it. But if you look, there's a cable here that goes up to your indoor handle. So you just got to, like this bottom part, you pull down a little bit and then you can pop it out. And the top is you just pop out. But if you do that, this will become free and then we can take it out of there. So uh, you're, you can see the door lock is down here. You got to be a little bit of a puzzle maker to get it out. They don't make it real easy, but it will come out. So we're going to get it the rest of the way out and then we'll see what we have left. So here's the old one. It looks like this cable uh, stay is broke here. So I don't know if that's the problem or not. I don't know why it's not, you know, doesn't want to go back in there either. So that could be the problem. But something's broke inside there. Um, like I said, I've seen some people mess with these. I can't see the point. You know, to me, it would be easier just to get one from a junkyard. I'm sure you go to BMW and get it, but I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. But it pretty much looks like one unit. So in other words, there's no place to, you know, hook and unhook a cable for your closer or anything like that. It's all molded together. So that is our old one. Our new one is here. Not new or used one is here. And we're going to put it back in. So it, this part takes patience. You know, you, you got to, like I say, it's like putting a puzzle together. It'll go in there, but it, it's tight, you know, and you got to get it in there and you got to get all the, you know, the cable back on it. But it can be done. People do it every day. So we're going to do that next. And then we're going to put the door back together. So I hope this helps you out. I know it can be, these cars can be overwhelming on things to repair. But like I said, you know, we got videos uh, that go over some of the things that seem could be overwhelming. For instance, the fan motor. If you start looking at it, you can't even figure out where it's at unless, you know, somebody tells you. But you got to get to it. And you got to take a lot of stuff apart, but it's not that impossible, you know. So subscribe, take a look, you know, save yourself. I don't, I have no idea what BMW charges for this, but I'm sure it's at least four numbers, you know, probably just for the part. But at any rate, save yourself some money, spend a Saturday, take care of it, get it done, and be happy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Get it all back together. And we'll see you in the next video.